My mission is to try and fill that gap up and get you guys to fill that gap up so your expertise goes beyond just getting them out of pain or fixing the injury, if you like, to the point where they are really, really, really good. If your technique is good, they're gonna trust you way more. And that's gold for keeping them on board in a rehab program. And it just makes that person think so much harder. But I want you to go down and forward and load up the front leg about 80%, weight through my heel, and trying to land like that. I'm now past that stage. I want my body to stay center, if I can. This is where you guys, you'll, you'll see that and go, right, okay, there's, that's something I can work on. Yeah. Hold. Now, <laughs> if he goes any further than that, watch what happens here. Bang, friction, straight away. If I would get down into there, get that right hand there. Yeah, and left hand here. Now, you've got to then try and just drop that down a bit. How is your squat? Have you assessed their squat? Is their squat any good? How do you squat? Do you know what a good squat is? Can you feel what it is? And what I've learned, modify, say, that one leg of squat or step down. So it is pain free. So you regress it a bit, get them doing it, and then bring them back and then advance. And your outcomes as a practitioner are way better. Keep that core on and push that knee down. Lots of things to think about. And as soon as that VMO or quad lets go, by their chronic pain defaulting, the shear load through that patellofemoral joint will happen. So when she's extending, is she failing upstairs? And that's you as a practitioner. You've got to assess that and test that and not just look at the knee. into a step down because they just need to get better at that movement pad.